Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. A massive tower has been found on the moon, published in a recent video uh, by the YouTube channel Mexico Geek. The link to which we'll put down in the video description as well as the coordinates to this massive looking moon structure. And as you can see in the Google Earth imagery here, this large spire or tower looking figure after being measured in Google Earth uh, is around almost four miles high. And you can actually see what looks to be the shadow of the object, uh, which we'll point out here. It almost looks like the Space Needle Tower, which is an observation tower in Seattle, Washington. And if you look between the two images, the Space Needle and this large tower here look almost identical. And it's just a very odd thing that this tower in Seattle, which looks just like this object, just happens to be called the Space Needle. So it's probably just a coincidence, but nonetheless, this does look to be a very massive tall tower. And this is not the first tower that we've ever found on the moon. We have found castles, buildings, towers. The Zond 3 space probe captured many anomalous structures on the moon. The Zond 3 was a 1964 space probe mission uh, intended to be sent toward Mars as a spacecraft test. Uh, it was a member of the Soviet Zond program, and it completed a successful lunar flyby, taking a number of good quality photographs for its time. Some of these images you're seeing here were in which we see the moon and the picture was taken at just the perfect angle where in which we can see this large miles high towering structure on the edge of it sticking out like a sore thumb and you can see these are very detailed lunar photographs for the time that they were taken much better than some of the nasa photographs that we see today and in another zon 3 image we see this large domed like structure once again sticking out from the edge of the moon at just the right angle and so you see there are towering structures on the moon. They've been there for ages. We don't know how they got there, but we do know that there's alien activity happening on the moon. And these are just a few of the images captured. One of the most devastating pictures of one of these objects on the moon is of an object that has come to be known as the castle. And you can see here, uh, this is a massive tower-like structure with multiple pillars on the bottom, a few more at the top, and then one long pillar at the very top. And this thing is, once again, miles high. And this image is from the Apollo 10 frame 4822. Now, another very mysterious image captured on the moon of these towers, as well as domes, is this image here from the lunar orbiter. And this has become known as the shard. The shard is an obvious structure which rises above the moon's surface by more than a mile. Its overall irregular, spindly shape with constricted nodes and swollen internodes, uh, if natural, has got to be a wonder of the universe. No known natural process can explain such a structure. Computer enhancement with about 190 feet resolution shows an irregular outline with more reflective and less reflective surfaces. The amount of sunlight reflecting from parts of the shard indicate a composition inconsistent with that of most natural substances and seems to be made of some sort of glass-like substance, and you can see the shadow of this large tower directly below it, which you can see in the image above. And, and if you look behind the shard to the left, we see this large, floating, domed structure, which is seen when bringing out the contrast and the brightness of the image. And once again, this dome is actually connected to the ground, because when you bring up the contrast, you can see that it is attached to some sort of tower structure that's coming down to the moon's surface. So, let's talk about the moon for a minute, and let's talk about some of these lunar mysteries that at one point or another we've all thought about. So we're just going to kind of go down the list of the different theories about the moon, the different analysis that has been done over the years, the anomalous things that have been seen and documented, happening on or around the moon, and it will give us all a bit of more perspective of just what we're looking at every night when we look up at this massive bright white orb, which by the way is the only moon in the solar system that is one of a kind and looks nothing like any other moon we've seen. In July 1970, two Russian scientists offered a bizarre theory of the origins of the moon. Michael Vassin and Alexander Shcherbakov published an article in the Soviet journal Sputnik entitled, Is the Moon a Creation of Alien Intelligence? The Soviet scientists put forward the belief that the moon is not a completely natural world, but a planetoid, hollowed out eons ago in the far reaches of space. Huge machines were used to melt rock and form large cavities within the moon, spewing the molten refuse onto the surface. 
protected by a hull-like inner shell, plus a reconstructed outer shell of metallic rocky junk. This gigantic craft was steering through the cosmos and finally parked in orbit around our Earth. The theory was revitalized in 1975 with the publication of Our Mysterious Spaceship Moon by Don Wilson. He stated that, quote, too many pieces of evidence seem to fit to reject the theory without investigation. There is even tantalizing evidence that in the dim recesses of human memory, there have been recollections of a time before the arrival of the moon. The Greek term proselene means before the moon. In Tibetan texts, there are stories of a people on a lost continent called Gondwana, said to be civilized before the moon shone in the night sky. Bolivian symbols have been interpreted by Dr. P. Allen as records that a satellite came into orbit around the Earth about 11,500 to 13,000 years ago. As there is very little similarity between the moon and the Earth, the old theory that the moon broke off of our planet and ended up in its orbit can be discounted. It is well accepted that the moon originated in other parts of the universe before moving into Earth's orbit. Author and science expert Isaac Isimov believed that the moon was too large to have been captured by our orbit. The orbit of the moon itself is also enigmatic. It is a perfect circle and stationary, with only one side being exposed to Earth. As far as we know, the moon is the only natural satellite with such an orbit. Another thing to note is why is it that the moon is just the right distance from the earth to completely cover the sun during an eclipse? While the diameter of the moon is a mere 2,160 miles against the sun's gigantic 864,000 miles, it is nevertheless in just the proper position to black out the sun's corona when it moves between the sun and the earth. It is the sheerest of coincidences, and only the earth is among all planets blessed in this fashion. It is believed that the moon could possibly be older than the Earth and the Sun. Scientists have dated some moon rocks as billions of years old, as far as 4.5 billion years. Scientists nowadays accept the moon to be 4.6 billion years old. Harvard's respected astronomy journal, Sky and Telescope, reported that the Lunar Conference in 1973 dated a lunar rock as 5.3 billion years old, which would make it almost a billion years older than Earth. Titanium and rust-proof rocks volcanic activity on the moon? In 1963, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory saw a reddish glow on the crests of the ridges of the Aristarchus region. This was after a similar glow and gaseous explosions were photographed by Russian astronomer Nikolai Kozrev in 1958. Other observatories also reported a red glow. Although the moon is deemed to be volcanically dead, it seems that there is certainly something happening in its interior. Seismographic equipment left at six separate sites on the moon by the Apollo missions picked up a great deal of activity until it ceased operating in 1977. In the early 19th century, Sir John Herschel in England saw unidentified lights on the moon during an eclipse and noted that some of the lights appeared to be moving above the moon. Other astronomers of the period also reported seeing a geometrical pattern of lights that resembled city lights. In the mid-1960s, NASA established the operation to investigate many strange flashes of light over the moon. The Space Association had received reports of many extraordinary lunar events. In 1959, a dark object had been observed hovering over the moon for two hours. On July 29th, John O'Neill observed a 19-kilometer-long bridge straddling the crater Mare Crisium. One month later, famous British astronomer Dr. H. Wilkins verified the sighting. In the 12 months leading to September 1966, Operation Moonblink had detected 28 unusual lunar events. In 1968, an obelisk-shaped object was discovered. This became known as the Shard, which is the image that you saw just moments earlier. The object rose nearly two and a half kilometers above the Euchre area of the moon's surface from the Sinus Medi region. And once again, no known natural process can explain the structure. There are many indications that the moon is hollow. The moon's mean density, about 3.34 grams per cubic centimeter, is significantly less than the 5.5 gram density of the Earth's mantle. This density indicates that the moon may not have a core. The most startling evidence came on November 20th, 1969, when the Apollo 12 crew, after returning to their command ship, sent the lunar module ascent stage crashing down back onto the moon, creating an artificial earthquake. The crash site was 40 miles from where the astronauts had left their seismic devices. The ultra-sensitive equipment recorded the moon ringing like a bell for almost 40 minutes. 
the vibration took almost eight minutes to reach a peak and then diminished in intensity. The ringing was repeated when the Apollo 13's third stage fell to the lunar surface, striking with the equivalent of 11 tons of TNT. According to NASA, this time the moon reacted like a gong. Although seismic equipment was 108 miles from the crash site, recording showed reverberations lasted for 3 hours and 20 minutes and traveled to a depth of 22 to 25 miles. Subsequent studies of man-made crashes yielded similar results. After one impact, the moon reverberated for 4 hours. On March 13, 1972, a large meteorite struck the moon with the equivalence of 200 tons of TNT. After sending shockwaves deep into the interior of the moon, scientists were baffled to find that none returned. Concerning, there is something unusual about the moon's core. It seems that the moon has a tough outer shell, but a light or non-existent interior. Here we'll show you some more lunar anomalies, and these are collected from NASA, Clementine, and other famous sources. Some of these photos were taken from the Apollo missions from space, while others taken from satellites. There are said to be over 400 unexplained anomalies found on the moon, and that's enough to show me that something is or once existed there. This image here, taken on April 20th, 1972, during Apollo 16, shows an elongated, glowing white, cigar-shaped craft hovering over a crater. The photo was taken by Apollo 16th just before the April 20, 1972 landing on the moon. This image was taken by Neil Armstrong, and you can actually see the shadow of the object on the moon below. Here we have another devastating, well-known picture taken by the Apollo astronauts on the moon showing a large object being reflected in astronaut Alan Bean's visor. And we can see this large alien-like object hanging several meters above the moon's surface attached to something. And at first it looks like a possible, almost like a light fixture hanging from the ceiling, indicating that this was possibly faked on a moon set. However, once the image is analyzed further, you can see that this object is actually attached to some sort of tripod-like structure that actually extends down to the lunar surface. It looks almost like a, a radio tower type structure. And as you've seen, and we've documented on this channel uh, through Apollo imagery, through Zond 3, Clementine, lunar orbiter images, there are lights on the moon, there are structures blurred out as you're seeing in the image here, towers that have been blurred out by NASA large towering castle like structures as you saw in this image here domes cities massive objects hovering above the surface and just an array of anomalous happenings that thus far nasa has not explained nor will they explain i assure you so back to the original find of this large towering structure uh, that looks like the space needle in seattle um it's an amazing find there's definitely something to it and I urge all of you to continue your research of the moon and continue sending us in your finds and your footage, your telescopic video, and we'll get it out there. So be sure to share this video, like and subscribe on your way out if you like the work we do, and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys.